Google's specialized AI division, Google DeepMind, has once again pushed the boundaries in the field of robotics with the introduction of RoboCat. This groundbreaking development unfortunately seems to be widely misunderstood by most people. It's not surprising considering DeepMind's track record of revolutionary innovations. DeepMind is the same company that has previously created numerous groundbreaking advancements that have had a profound impact on our world. One of their notable projects is AlphaFold, a program capable of accurately predicting 3D models of protein structures. This achievement has significantly accelerated research in various fields of biology. Another remarkable creation by DeepMind is AlphaGo the first computer program to defeat a professional human Go player and even a world champion, making it arguably the strongest Go player in existence. Additionally, DeepMind is responsible for WaveNet, a technology that generates more natural-sounding speech for products used by millions of people worldwide. I provided the background information about the team to emphasize their exceptional track record in introducing groundbreaking advancements in artificial intelligence. However, it's important to clarify that DeepMind didn't physically create the robot itself, but rather developed the system that powers it. Therefore, what you will witness in the video is essentially an artificial intelligence program. This distinction might cause some confusion regarding the nature of the robot. The robot in question is a Sawyer robot, known for its high precision and widespread use in various factories. The reason why this new RoboCat is truly remarkable lies in its impressive capabilities. The blog post highlights a common challenge in robotics, which is also familiar when dealing with large language models, the scarcity of training data. For a robot to perform effectively, it typically needs to be trained on a specific dataset that enables it to understand the required tasks. This often involves the robot observing and learning from thousands or even millions of different examples before it can be deployed and proficiently carry out the assigned task. DeepMind has achieved a remarkable feat with RoboCat by enabling it to generate its own training data and drastically reduce the time required to understand specific tasks. Unlike other cutting-edge models, RoboCat has the ability to learn at an accelerated pace. DeepMind states that it can grasp a new task with as few as 100 demonstrations, thanks to its access to a vast and diverse data set. This breakthrough has the potential to expedite robotics research, diminish the need for human supervision during training, and propel us forward into the era of general-purpose robots and artificial general intelligence AGI. Another intriguing aspect of DeepMind's RoboCat is its programming to adapt and operate with various types of hands, rather than being limited to a single specific hand. This capability, though fascinating, evokes imagery from movies where AI systems effortlessly infiltrate and comprehend unknown systems, despite lacking prior exposure. RoboCat displays a similar adaptability, which can be both impressive and somewhat disconcerting. DeepMind also presented specific instances where the robots were given a goal image and successfully tasked with recreating it. These robots demonstrated exceptional performance in executing these assignments. What DeepMind showcased further was the robot's ability to handle tasks that were not seen during training, even when applied to a robot that had not been part of the training data. The robot or artificial intelligence program effectively accomplished these novel tasks. This breakthrough is significant and the published paper delves into various aspects that we will explore later. Additionally, the paper highlights the robot or artificial intelligence program's response to environmental disturbances. This aspect had been observed in earlier Google papers. But it was reassuring to witness this adaptability even in an artificial intelligence program that is still in its early stages. This adaptability is crucial for these robots to be effective in real-world scenarios. As we know, the real world is not controlled testing facility with a limited set of objects. Unexpected events and deviations from the plan can occur, and it is essential for these robots to promptly and reliably adapt to such situations, as demonstrated in this research. During my research on RoboCat, I came across the most intriguing aspect. Google's own multi-model model named Gato, which means cat in Spanish and can also be pronounced as Gatter. What makes this particularly remarkable is its connection to DeepMind's ongoing project called Gemini. 
Gemini is an artificial intelligence program developed by DeepMind to compete with OpenAI's GPT-4, GPT-5. DeepMind is dedicating significant effort to the development of Gato, the multimodal model capable of processing language, images, and actions in both simulated and physical environments. It appears that Gato is already proving to be highly effective, considering that multimodal models are poised to dominate the future of AI. This development is even more significant. The reason why RoboCat can autonomously improve itself lies in the combination of Gato's architecture with a large dataset consisting of sequences of images and corresponding actions performed by various robot arms to solve a wide range of tasks. This integration allows RoboCat to leverage the power of Gato and learn from diverse training data, enabling autonomous self-improvement. The training cycle of RoboCat was significantly enhanced by its ability to autonomously generate additional training data. The process can be summarized as follows. First, a collection of 100 to 1,000 demonstrations of a new task or robot was obtained using a human-controlled robotic arm. Next, RoboCat underwent fine-tuning in the specific task or arm, resulting in the creation of a specialized spin-off agent. The spin-off agent then practiced the new data or arm approximately 10,000 times, generating additional training data. This data, derived from both the demonstrations and the self-generated instances, was then incorporated into RoboCat's existing training dataset. Finally, a new version of RoboCat was trained using this expanded training data. It is worth noting that the training data utilized by RoboCat differs from the conventional approach used in training robots. Typically, five common forms of training data are employed. These include sensor data, where the robot arms utilize various sensors such as cameras and depth sensors to perceive the environment. In training robots, various forms of data are typically used. These include force sensors, joint encoders, and other relevant sensors that provide information about the environment. Additionally, state information such as joint angles, joint velocities, and effector position or orientation can be recorded as part of the training data. Demonstration data involves an expert or human operator performing the task using the robot arm. Reinforcement signals play a crucial role in reinforcement learning algorithms, providing feedback in the form of rewards or reinforcements that indicate the success or failure of actions or states, guiding the learning process. Simulation data is another type of training data. Generated synthetically in environments like NVIDIA's ISAAC SIM, where sensor readings and robot configurations are simulated. In the case of RoboCat, two additional versions of training data were employed. Firstly, videos were utilized, leveraging the multimodal features of the system. These videos likely provided visual information for learning. Secondly, self-generated training data played a role, representing another method to train the system. This diverse range of training data was employed by RoboCat is groundbreaking. It was so extensive that RoboCat was able to train itself on robot arms it had not encountered before, demonstrating adaptability to different controllable inputs. On the left side, you can observe a robotic arm that RoboCat has acquired the ability to control. In the accompanying video, RoboCat can be seen using this new arm to successfully pick up gears. The paper highlights that with only a thousand human-controlled observations gathered within a few hours, RoboCat achieved an 86% success rate in accurately directing the new arm with sufficient grip to handle the gears. With the same level of demonstrations, RoboCat demonstrated adaptability in solving tasks that require a combination of precision and comprehension, such as selecting the correct fruit from a bowl, or solving a shape-matching puzzle. These skills are crucial for more complex control tasks. The noteworthy aspect of this robot, which makes it a significant achievement for Google's DeepMind, is its continuous self-improvement capability. RoboCat follows a virtuous cycle of training, wherein the more new tasks it learns, the better it becomes at acquiring additional new skills. The initial version of RoboCat achieved a success rate of only 36%, on previously unseen tasks after training on 500 demonstrations per task. However, the latest version of RoboCat, which underwent training on a greater variety of tasks, more than doubled the success rate on those exact same tasks. The ability to autonomously learn new skills and rapidly improve, especially when applied to different robotic devices, holds great promise for ushering in a new generation of highly useful robotic agents.
In conclusion, RoboCat demonstrates exceptional ability in generalizing new tasks and adapting to different robots, achieving this with a relatively small number of examples. It showcases zero-shot learning, where it can perform tasks it has never encountered before, and it can also adapt to new tasks through adaptation. This adaptability and generalization make RoboCat remarkably versatile and efficient in learning new skills. An impressive aspect of RoboCat is its capability to generate its own training data for subsequent iterations, creating a unique self-improvement loop. This iterative learning process not only contributes to its autonomous improvement but also enhances its capabilities over time. The combination of visual goal conditioning, adaptability, generalization, and self-improvement sets RoboCat apart from previous AI robotic systems. It represents a groundbreaking development in the field. The future applications of DeepMind's Gato Multimodal, Multitask, Multi-Embodiment, and Generous Policy have the potential to bring about significant impacts across various domains and applications.